we lost our bag of clothes. Now, I have nothing to change. I came like this yesterday, and I'm still like that. Bazu had bought new shorts of Adalia. Then this is also his home. So a lot of his clothes are here. Anyway, going to the main house. Hi guys, so we are at the mall. I went to the mall in the morning and I saw this offer on these kids' warm clothes. They're actually pajamas. And then uh, uh, I decided to come later on with my wallet. You've already seen my wallet. Eh? <laughs> and then we're going to also do some shopping. As you've seen, according to the title, we are going to the village and we have to be ready. Yeah. So these are actually avocado trees. I've forgotten the specific species. But uh, we had bought this. I'm told there's only one. What is it called? I've forgotten the name. Like that place that sells these specific type of trees that are rare so we're going to take it to the countryside yes guys so if you're new here my name is masha i'm a youtuber based in nairobi kenya and to my returning subscribers and viewers thank you for always coming back and clicking on my videos so kindly remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't and come along with the, us as we go to the village we're supposed to go to nakuru and then to uh, later on to kisi Yes, that is our countryside. So come along and let's see. Will we get there? Will we? Where will we? Well, this journey end. Eh? So come along. This is just the first episode. I'm bringing other episodes. So we went back home and then later that evening uh, of buying things and just keeping things ready, I took Killian to the mall again to have a ride. And then we came back home and then this was us parking. You know how... Uh, when you're preparing to travel, your mind just literally switches off. It had switched off. So this is the next day now. We left the house at 9 a.m. We were supposed to leave earlier, but we did not. And uh, we left at that time. Yes, guys, we are on the road to the countryside, to Nakuru. So on this day, by the way, I had a really, really bad cold. I, I had a cold for the whole of that week. Uh, it was because of dust and then on this day that we were traveling it now started to rain and I thank God that it did because you see all through the journey at the stop at uh, the office in Nairobi where we were taking the the vehicle to go to Nakuru uh, I only I could only have lemon tea Kilian had fries Bazu I think only had water I was so sick and then uh, we are also at the stop in Nakuru I had another cup of lemon tea i just wanted lemon tea because the only thing that seemed to help me i was so so sick so this is the road to nakuru if you remember this place during the protest the protests i think this is where the people uh were standing i think this is in nakuru yes at this point we're almost there so this is uh now us finally in nakuru town we were supposed to take the I was supposed to go home, take the trees, and then we're going to connect our journey from there. So we decided to have dinner or late lunch because it was like 6 p.m. when we got there. And then um, my father-in-law came to pick us. It was raining heavily. And uh, the, unfortunate, the most unfortunate thing happened. We lost our bag, man. <laughs> so this is us finally in Akuru. You can see that house is not complete. You don't mind it. Yes, that's our house in Akuru. So we're just sleeping and then preparing for the next day. So this is the next morning in the village, guys. I don't know if you're keeping up or I'm too fast. I don't know. <laughs> so guys, we lost our bag. Let me tell you about it. So this is a, a typical morning. As you can see, I'm still wearing the clothes that I was wearing yesterday, just in case you didn't peep that at the beginning of the video, because we lost our whole traveling bag and it had like all our stuff. So... Uh, when we, we were lighting, it was raining. So my father-in-law had, had come to pick us at that place where we were going to alight. So when, his, when the car stopped, the vehicle that we were in stopped, we were supposed to go into our father-in-law's car. And you can imagine that like rain, it was so heavy it was hitting from all corners man i don't know if you have ever been at a warm space and then you just wake up and and you have to get out and it's raining heavily so we were just 
so quick on getting the food stuff that we bought. Of course, we had bought some, we had done some shopping, and then our uh, there were the trees, and then there was another my handbag, and then like we had a, a, a number of bags, so we ended up forgetting our traveling bag that had our personal effects, our clothes, literally. And I don't know how I did not separate the clothes because I usually do. Anyway, so that morning, I uh, was, uh, my father-in-law said there's no problem. He knows um, the person, I don't know, the owner of that vehicle that you are alighting from. Because, you know, uh, that place is not a very large place. Like, it's not a very populated place. So they literally know each other through that Nyumbakumi initiative. So they asked around that they knew. So that morning, Bazu and my father-in-law went out to go and see if they could trace the bag. And I was sure they were going to get it. Man, they never miss, okay? <laughs> so this morning, I'd woken up. I'm in the kitchen. I'm making some breakfast. I've put in the milk. And then these are tea leaves. And then these tea leaves are not your normal tea leaves. I don't know, they'd mixed soya and tea leaves and I don't know what. But it was something different but it was tasting really nice because it's also had coffee it's like they've mix, mixed all the beverages together and then you're using it for tea as tea tea is a beverage so when you mix all that what is it called <laughs> but it's tasting really nice and then i'm adding in the sugar I usually cook my milk and tea leaves uh and sugar before i add in the water so i'm being a typical life like this this uh house i've come here s several times of course because you know it is home, so I know I know my way around everywhere. So, but I need to do a little arranging because it's been a year since I went back to Nakuru, and uh, a few things have changed because um, we also have our other relatives who are living there while we are not there, and um, yeah. But it is beautiful, and I actually love that right now there are people because when we went the the very first time, it was just Bazu, Kilian, uh, my sister. And my father-in-law and I. So it was just like a really small circle. I really love this time uh, because uh, there are kids who live there, uh, our relatives. So it was a really nice experience. We had lots of fun. And uh, I just love like the whole thing. I'll post the videos of the activities that we were doing when we were there. But this weekend was, <laughs> it was like one of that uh, weekend where I feel like it has been... A very long weekend because of the turn of events. Like you're going somewhere, you miss a you miss a nanny, you miss a vehicle, and then uh, we get the vehicle at the final meet. You go and then you lose your bag, and then and it's just events after events after events, man. <laughs> so oh, she's she was the kids are also excited to see us. Of course, we when you go, we take goodies. You know, the only way to kids' heart is by taking goodies. So I just decided to have breakfast before I start cleaning because we need to do a lot of cleaning. I don't know if it's just me, but anytime I travel like to the countryside, I just want to deep clean. Whether it's my home or whether it's now my home here in Akuru or uh, my home like where I come from, my mother's house, I still want to, to deep clean. I think it's just in me. So this morning I'm cooking and I'm just feeling like oh, I've not been here for a year. So we need to deep clean. <laughs> I know people live there and they clean every day because the house was super clean. But I just feel like we need to deep clean. We need to deep clean. And we actually ended up doing that. I'll see if I got footage of that, snippets here and there. Then I'll, I'll show you. So, yeah, the, the we are having a calm morning. You know how the countryside is? And it's just good vibes, chilling, relaxing. You just feel like, ah, you've gotten your mind off the city. This was on a, on a Sunday. Yeah, this was on a Sunday. So on this Sunday is when we were supposed to go to Kisi. And, but we have lost the bag. How are we going to travel? So we woke up and just decided, you know what? Uh, let Bazu and um, our dad go and try to follow up with the, with the clothes, with the bag of clothes. And if they find it early, we can go to Kisi. If they find it late, then we will have to cancel the journey because we are needed back at work on on monday and um yeah it was just really sad because we really wanted to go all the way to kisi we had also not been there for like a year and we just thought that this is a good time for us to go 
So I now left the tea. I've finished the tea. That's the breakfast. And then there was chapo beans. There was bread. And then I'm um. here just outside the kitchen area. I'm washing the utensils. <laughs> There's a sink inside, but that sink cannot be used because it's still under construction. As you can see, this house is not complete. There's a lot of construction happening there. So we obviously can't use the sink. Even the bathroom in the house, we don't use it at this moment. We used to use it in the beginning, but then the water was coming uh, the opposite side, not on the, going to the drainage. So even that, we stopped using for some time. So that was it for the morning after washing the utensils. We had breakfast. I didn't get footage of that. And then we we had the rest of the day to ourselves. I'm going to bring more and more videos. So kindly consider subscribing. If you haven't liked this video, share the link with your friends. And I'll see you again on the next video. Bye. Wewe. Kwanza anataka one mwili. Mwili sijui. Mwili kona nini? Mwili mwili.